let's see some questions based upon the eccentric connection now this is the first question that i have taken where we have the in plane eccentric connection so here we have to find out the maximum value of factor load p so what is the maximum value of this factor load p that can be carried by this connection so how will we go for this question here we will be here we will find out the force on the extreme volt so what kind of force it is experiencing as i discussed in the theory part there is this direct shear force and there is this shear force due to the moment that is p and p is the direct shear force so due to these two we have two forces in the bolt that is f1 and f2 so f1 is corresponding to p and f2 is corresponding to this p so then we will find out this net force p on this net force f on the extreme bolt using the equation f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos theta and we will equate this maximum force to the bolt strength and using this equation we will find out the maximum value of this load p so let's try to solve this question first we will try to find out this bolt strength now for the bolt strength as we have seen earlier we have to check two criteria that is shear and bearing so first let's see the shear criteria so for shear criteria the equation what we have is fub divided by root 3 into gamma mb that is equal to 1.25 multiplied by ns into as plus nn into an now here we are connecting simply two plates so it is a lab joint and for lab joint we know it is a sh single shear case and here nothing is given that if the bolt or if the shear plane passes through thread or if it passes through shank so for the critical design we can always consider it to be passing through the passing through the thread not the shank so from here n n is equal to 1 and ns is equal to 0 and rest of the values we can put the bolt that we are using here is same that is m20 grade 4.6 and plate strength is fq is equal to 410 mpa and fub is equal to 400 and 400 mpa so this value we can put here so from here vs is equal to 400 by root 3 into 1.25 multiplied by so n n is equal to 1 that is 1 into the a a n that is net area thread is equal to 0.78 times pi by 4 into d square so we are using m20 volt so d is equal to 20 so using this equation vs is equal to 45.272 kilonewton that is the shear strength for single volt because here we are trying to find out in this extreme bolt what will be the shear strength so shear strength does not depend on this distance here or anything else so here we have obtained the shear strength now let's see the bearing strength so for the bearing strength we know the formula 2.5 kb dt fu divided by gamma mb so let's see this kb first that is the minimum of e upon 3d naught so what is the value of e p is applied in this direction so e is e will also be in this direction that is 35 here so e upon 3d naught is equal to 35 upon 3 into 22 d naught is 22 because d is 20 and the second criteria would be p upon 3d naught minus 0.25 so p is also the distance in the direction of load that is 80 here so 80 upon 3 into 22 minus 0.25 other criteria is fu b by fu and 1 so this is equal to 400 by 410 so this will obviously not govern from here we get the value as 0 0.5303 and from here we get it as 0.9621 so this is the value that is 0 0.5303 
that is our KB. Now after that, what is the value of D? That is 20. What is the value of T? So here we are, we just have a simple lap joint. So in lap joint, you can simply take the minimum thickness. That is we have one thickness as 10 mm and other thickness as 7.6 mm. So T is simply equal to 7.6 mm. And FU is equal to the ultimate stress of plate that is 410 MPa. Gamma MB is equal to 1.25. So VB is equal to 2.5 into 0.5303 into 20 into 7.6 into 410 divided by 1.25. VB from here is equal to 66.09 kN. So the minimum value of the 2 is 45.272 and that is the strength of the bolt. So bolt strength is equal to 45.272 kN. Now let's try to find out the force on the on this extreme bolt. So as I already said, we have two forces here, F1 and F2. F1 is sim simply equal to, so let's write force on extreme bolt. So F1, that is a force due to direct shear. F1 is equal to P divided by the number of bolts. So how many bolts are there? Five bolts are there. So P upon that is the value of F1 which is equal to 0.2 P. Now let's see the other force that is a 4 or we can say shear in bolt due to bending moment due to bending moment which is equal to P E. So we saw this equation F2 is equal to P E R upon sigma R square so we have to find out the r for this extreme bolt and sigma r square so what would be the value of r this this will be the this central bolt and the center of the central bolt will be the cg of this bolt group so this distance here is r so that is from this triangle we can find out r as 60 square plus 80 square and that is equal to 100 r is equal to under root of 60 square plus 80 square that is 100 mm and similarly we can calculate the sigma r square that is the value of r for all the bolts so all are at equal space from the center and the value of r for the central bolt would be 0 so that is 4 into 100 square that is for 4 extreme bolts and for central bolt it is 0 so it is simply equal to 4 into 100 square and E that is the eccentricity and that is given in the question E is equal to 250 mm. So we can put this value <coughs> in this equation P E R upon sigma R square. So F2 is equal to how P into E is 250 R is 100 divided by 4 into 100 square and that is equal to 0.625 p so we have obtained f1 and f2 and now we can obtain the value of f so for f cos theta is also there in this equation here yeah, this cos theta is also there so cos theta what will be this cos theta here so if this is the bolt and this is one force that is F1 and other force is this F2. So this angle is theta. So from here this angle would be 90 minus theta and this angle is also theta. So this angle we can find out this cos of cos theta is simply equal to 60 divided by this will be the hypotenuse so that is 100. So from here cos theta is equal to 0.6. So here cos theta is equal to 0 0.6 and now we can obtain the f as f1 square plus f2 square plus 212 f1 f2 cos theta that is 0.2 p square plus f2 is 0.625 p square plus 
टू इंटू पॉइंट टू पी इंटू पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव पी इंटू कॉस थीटा इज पॉइंट सिक्स सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट इट हियर दैट कम्स आउट टू बी पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स वन नाइन नाइन पी दैट इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ नाउ फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द मैक्सिमम फोर्स दैट कैन बी कैरिड कैन बी कैरिड सो दैट विल बी इक्वल टू द बोल्ड स्ट्रेंथ सो दिस वी कैन इक्वेट टू द बोल्ड स्ट्रेंथ मैक्सिमम फोर्स दैट कैन बी कैरिड बाई एक्सट्रीम बोल्ड is equal to bolt strength and that was equal to 45272 that is 45272 newton 45272 or 45.272 kN and so from here p is equal to 59.413 kN so generally if we have if we have used what we will use for column here we'll use an i section so we'll put a bracket here and we'll put a bracket here so one load will be applied on this and another will be applied on this so if we say p is applied here and p is applied here so that total load which is there on the column would be equal to 2p